Hey, it's Abby from Make Life Your Runway, and I'm here with my weekly makeup basket. And I kind of liked how I did last week with just putting each item away one by one and then just keeping a lot of it. So we're going to do that again. So I'm going to put back the Lorac Pro that I've been using for the last two weeks. I have uh, put some dents in some of these colors. I don't know if you could tell from the last couple weeks, but... I think I've pretty much used every color in here except for the navy, so that's pretty good. I'm going to put it back and just pull it some other time in the future. I don't know where I'm going to sit it. I'll just sit it to the side. Alright, so I'm going to put back the Urban Decay Makeup Spray. I do enjoy this, um, but I'm just going to try something else that I'll talk about in a moment. And here's what I'm reaching from. This is last week's basket right here. So I am going to keep out, this is the Maybelline Studio Taupe Temptress. This is one of the things that I am panning. So I'm going to sit that to the side. Um, I'm going to continue using the Mary Kay Love Mascara. Am I focused? There we go. I'm going to continue using the Mary Kay CC Cream. I am also trying to pan this and I have used a good bit. I don't think I have too much left. Continue using that. Continue using this Mary Kay Primer. Um, this is a Star Looks that I am also trying to pan. It's in the color Ultra Olive. I have shown this before. Uh -huh. Okay, I talked about last week I was going to use this Mary Kay concealer in yellow. And I was going to use it on like an eyelid primer and it worked out really well. So I'm going to go ahead and do that again. And I'm going to continue using the NYX Wonder Pencil. I'm going to put back this Bite Beauty in the color Gave. It's okay. I'm not, oops, I got it. <laughs> makeup on it. I'm not as impressed with um, the Bite Beauties as some other people are, but I'm going to continue using the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in 20 Sable. I'm going to put back the Star Looks um, Lip Gloss and Cuddles. I've been using this for a few weeks. I'm going to put that back. Going to keep, of course, my Sugar Rose Fresh out for another week. This Lorac Pro, I've used it a couple of times. It's the Cobra Mascara. This wand is like, oh my gosh, intense. It's like, how do you even, I don't know. I, I mean, I got okay volume, but it was not easy to apply by any means. Going to continue using this Mary Kay Eye Cream in Apricot. What is it? Apricot Twist. I think I called it Apricot Nectar last week. <laughs> this is um, Blush by Model Co. I've been trying to kind of work through it because it's one that I'm not very attached to. But I've also been wanting to use other blushes, so I am going to put this back for next week. I talked about this last week, I believe. It's the Wet n Wild. Did I talk about last week? I'm sure I did. It is one of their limited edition and sunset function. And I mostly really enjoy the highlighter, but the bronze and the pink are really good as well. I would recommend, if you can find this in your Walgreens or CVS or Rite Aid, picking it up because it's like $4.50 and I saw that they were on sale recently some at Walgreens, I think, for like $3.50, they're a dollar off. So, I mean, seriously, if you see it, grab it. They have three different kinds. They all look great. Just a matter of what's available and what you're drawn to. I'm going to continue using the Milani Face Powder in 03 Natural. And guys, I don't know if you probably can't see it, but I can see, I'm already like seeing the rings. And this isn't even a month old. But I do like the coverage. It's super light. It's really good at just setting stuff like on um, foundation and doing a light dust of powder on your face to even your skin a little bit. I'm going to continue using the NYC Smooth Skin Bronzer right here. See, I'm getting a pretty good dip in it in the middle. 
and let's see what else. Oh, and then the MAC White Crisp. Oh, you can see me. I'm going to continue using this as well. I really enjoy it. It's just very natural. And actually, I've been putting this down first and then putting this model coat over it, like towards the back of my cheeks. And I like that a lot. So, yeah, let me put these items in here and then continue picking. I know that I'm going to not pick a ton of products just because um, next week's going to be kind of hectic and I want to try to keep my morning routine as simple as possible. <laughs> so I'll put all this in here. Alright. So this is all stuff that I'm going to use, but I am going to grab some other stuff. Um, for a face spray, I'm going to try the L'Oreal Infallible that this came in a Target box, and I haven't tried it. And how long ago did I talk about that Target box? That was like a month or two ago. So I am going to try it out. And I do enjoy this Urban Decay one, but um, I just want to try them, you know, use since this isn't empty. It's probably like a two-thirds left in it. But I want to see if it compares to the Urban Decay one at all, or, you know, just see how I feel about it. Because, you know, sometimes you use a product and then you get another product and you use it. You can't truly remember the first one unless you just loved it so much. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm going to use this. And then for eyes, I'm going to keep it really light because I really want to focus on um, panning this and using this eyeliner right here. So what I'm going to do is just grab my Z palette back here. And it's just very basic, bas bas basic basically. <laughs> These are just um, CoverGirl colors. They're nice and bright. Um... They don't come off that bright on my eyelids. These two are Mary Kay colors, and these are two Wet n Wild colors. So they just add kind of a nice base and transition color to use that taupe temp temptress one. Because this one is very, very shimmery. <laughs> so I'm going to grab that. And um, let me think what else do I need. I'm pretty hooked on that highlighter from Wet n Wild right now. Oh, I know what I want to grab. Uh, if I can get it. You can see what I'm trying to oops, grab here. This is Wet n Wild Pearlescent Pink um, blush. I got when it was on sale a couple weeks ago, and I haven't tried it yet. So I am going to try, try this. I've been really trying the Wet n Wild products because they're so affordable, and they are really great quality for what they are. Speaking of, I just picked this up. Um, it's a new three pan from them called When Sparks Fly. Oh my gosh, look at that. I haven't even opened it yet, but I'm definitely going to give it some love this week. Oh, I'm so excited. And I did want to give away that um, Margie Loves Makeup post. I'll link her and, or I'll show her. She doesn't. What am I trying to say? She has an Instagram, so I will just put her name either in the screen that you're watching or down below. Um, she had a 5,000 follower giveaway, so I was lucky enough to win all of the prizes for that. And she was too generous. Um, let's see, I have a couple of things up here. There was this Be Matte blush by City Color and Pink Grapefruit. I haven't tried that yet. There were... Um, some false lashes. Haven't tried those yet. There was an Ofra highlight. Actually, I might pull this for the week. I heard this brand talked about more recently on YouTube, but I haven't tried it. But this is what it looks like. And this opens and it has a mirror on the bottom. <laughs> Hello! And yeah. So I swatched it. You could probably tell, especially in this gold. But I'm, I'm going to pull that for the week. I have just decided. And then, oh man, so many good stuff. This is my first ColourPop item that was in the giveaway. It is a blush in the color. Um, <laughs> it's a matte blush. Bonus. That's the color. And I used this once, but I kind of applied it lightly and 
just brief, <laughs> briefly. I mean, I just threw it on to play with it. Basically, I haven't really given it much love. So, to, I'm going to have a lot of stuff pulled to try. But I'm going to pull this as well. This brand is really hyped on YouTube. And it's really affordable. But I just haven't... Sometimes when things are super hyped, I just... I get scared. <laughs> but I'm also curious. So, I will pull that. And I think that was... There was one more thing. Oh, a couple more things. See, I'm going to want to pull all of this for the week. The Reveal 2, which I was super excited to try. Um, this Avon color and taupe, which this is something that is talked about a lot on YouTube, especially by Emily Noel. She loves them, and I used it once, and it was great. And then this NARS eyeliner. I'm not going to pull these items for the week. This was just laying around. It came in my Ipsy last week. But, um, oh, and then there was an e.l.f. brush for eyeshadow brush. I'm not going to use these right now, but I am definitely excited. I am so happy that I was chosen. I've never won a giveaway ever. Alright, so I think that's it. This is my basket. It's pretty full. Not everything would fit in here, plus these two items and the spray. Everything's falling. Oh, I didn't pick lips. Let me pick lips real quick. Hopefully I don't drop all of this. Um. Okay, I'm going to pull this NYX Butter Gloss in Little Susie. <laughs> And this was one my friend Katie gave me because it came in her Ipsy and she didn't want, she didn't like the color on her. And I'm also going to give, this is the one that came in my Ipsy the same month. It's NYX, let's see, Begus, Bucus. This, um, I actually put a swatch of this on my Instagram when I got it a couple months ago. So if you want to check it out, feel free to do that. But that is everything for my basket. I feel like I kind of pulled a lot, but there's a lot that I have been enjoying using and that I want to continue using, and there's some new stuff. So that's my basket. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you next week. Bye.